Hello everyone, my name is Trooper. Today I'm showing you guys how to update your LSPDFR to the latest, newest, and the greatest version on your GTA 5. For those of you guys looking to do a complete reinstall of GTA 5 LSPDFR with the new version, there'll be a new video coming out, I believe, on Thursday. That should be when that new video is coming out. So make sure you guys do look out for that. I'll be recording that on Thursday and I'll get it uploaded on Thursday. For those of you guys who do want to do a fresh install, but I know a lot of you guys will just want to update and hop straight into the game. And I know a lot of you guys might want to make sure you are being careful and you're not going to mess up the game. But luckily for you, it's pretty simple and it's going to be very, very easy. So what you guys are going to want to do is click the first download link down in the description below. And if it isn't down in the description below, because I completely forgot last video when we were 150 views in, and yet someone still hadn't reminded me. So if the link isn't in the description below, then please let me know down in the comment section and I will add it. But if it is, just click it and it's going to bring you guys right here to the LSPD first response 0.4.9. That is right. Brand new version. We're not on a 0 0.90 whatever. We're on a brand new build. So that is 0.4.9, which is so awesome. And there are a bunch of new things added. So if you guys come down here, you guys will be able to see, see that a new apartment has been added, which is really cool, at 4 Integrity Way, which is by Downtown Los Santos. A bunch of miscellaneous improvements and enhancements have been made when spawning in the apartments. You can now sit down on most chairs and benches within game, which is so cool. And it'll definitely change up the game, especially when I'm streaming, you know, just a way to chill around and actually give it a little bit more of an RP. And if you guys want to read the rest of them, you can go through here and read them and I will leave them down in the description below for those of you guys who are interested but what you guys are going to want to do is head up to here and click download this file and then what you guys are going to want to do is you can read through this if you want to or you can just click agree and download and then make sure installing the latest version available to you which is going to be the manual underscore install dot zip 049 I know the normal one up here the top one it might seem easier but just grab this one for updating your game itself you can click here to speed it up and whilst it is downloading if you guys haven't already subscribed please just want to smash that subscribe button make sure if it is red that it is grey and turn those post notifications on so you're up to date and have one of the best LSPDF files have all your friends and everybody you know on this channel because I do daily actually you know, by daily nowadays because I want to take a little bit of break before I go back to daily content and they're all LSPF file tutorial episodes. Every now and then I will break it up with some episodes and maybe with some other videos such as BMNG. But mostly it is by daily LSPF file tutorials so you can get your game looking as good as every other YouTuber and all your friends out there. But what you guys are going to want to do is open up the download. And then once that is opened up, be able to see here it's pretty much identical to all the other LSPF file versions that we have installed. And what you guys are going to want to do is go to your GTA 5 file explorer and navigate to your GTA 5 itself. So if my file explorer would actually open there, I don't know why it's being so slow, maybe a little bit of a reset might help. But what you guys are going to want to do is choose the GTA 5 main directory and your GTA 5 drive if you have everything installed. Those of you guys on Steam, I'm going to show you guys how to get to that right now. But those of you guys on Epic Games or Rockstar Games, your GTA 5 main directory is down in the description below. But what you guys are going to want to do is double click on Program Files 86 for Steam users. Go to Steam, Steam Apps, and Common. Right here, this will obviously be where your GTA 5 main directory is, so you can update it. Go in to your mods right here, and all you guys are going to want to do is simply just drag and drop this LSPDFR install right into your game. So highlight all of these, make sure you control and deselect licenses. And then just drag and drop it on in, like so. And there you guys go. It's going to ask you to replace a bunch of things. Now, when you load in game, you are going to have to create a new character. And it might load you into story mode, first of all. Well, no worries. The game should still work perfectly fine afterwards. All you guys are going to need to do is recreate your character. And if you have it already on EUP and you saved it through EUP, it won't really make a difference at all. But the next one you guys are going to want to install, which I haven't already got up. But we will just find it on the internet anyway. But I will leave it down in the description below. Is Rage Plugin Hook because this does replace a couple of Rage Plugin Hook files. So click the next download link down in the description below. And that's going to bring you guys right here to the Rage Plugin Hook files. We can make sure we have got the proper Rage Plugin Hook installed. Choose Grand Theft Auto V Legacy and make sure you're installing the latest version. Now, no Script Hook V updates or Rage Plugin Hook updates are required for LSPFR updating. Only GTA 5, when that updates, does LSPDFR, Race Plugin, Hook, and Script Hook V require an update? I know some of you guys may get a little bit confused on some of those areas. 
but open it on up and do the exact same thing. Find your GTA 5 main directory again. If you're unsure of it, just skip back in the video about, you know, 30 seconds and then find your GTA 5 main directory once again. Highlight all of these. Make sure you're deselecting SDK and licenses. Simply just drag and drop it into your game like so. Replace the files it asks you to replace and there you guys go. You have now successfully updated your LSP file and it should now be up to date so you can reinstall, well not reinstall but update all your plugins if they do have an update and it won't crash your game. So there you guys go. If you guys did find this video useful please be sure to subscribe, please be sure to smash the subscription button and the like button. If you guys do want to support me a little bit further and you do want to help me out financially with the channel so we can get better you know, mic quality, better recording quality and maybe some more games we can get playing and maybe some custom mods on LSPDFR that I can use my LSPDFR episodes. Make sure you guys do check out that join button down below. I have the cheapest membership possible because I know some of you guys just want to support the channel and maybe you don't have all the money for the stupid prices that YouTube has to offer since you can't make custom prices. But the lowest price I have there is around 99p and that's 99p a month and you will get early access to all of my videos including some exclusive content and priority replies and likes down in my comment section below. So if you guys are interested in that please be sure to check out that join button down below next to the subscribe button. It should be blue. Click it and you guys can look through there. There, I think there's three tiers which is either I think it's 99p and then we have 299. I might be thinking, I think that's actually four but I can't remember in the top of my head so you guys can check that out just by clicking that little join button down below and if you guys are interested you can join my discord link down in the description below for some more LSPFR help and you can talk to me personally as well as long as you guys don't DM me because my DMs are now off because I got too many I didn't want to turn them off but I had to turn them off because everyone was still DMing me even though repeatedly asking you guys not to in the videos and still asking you guys not to in the DMs but hey ho I do understand some of you guys are desperate and it does get really annoying but if you guys do have the chance to DM me and my DMs are on off please don't ask for LSPFR support because I will not reply and I'm more than likely to block you but other than that thank you guys so so much for watching this video and I'll see all you guys in the next one cheers and goodbye